You are back to watching 9XE The Show, known for her chirpy and cheerful personality. Paraniti Chopra is feeling gloomy these days. We surely don't like to use adjectives like sad and upset for her, but maybe that is the case. She charmed us all as Dimple Chada in Ladies vs. Ricky Bell. The character of the young outgoing girl was also carried ahead in Ishak Zade. Then in Should Desi Romance, then Dawad A. Ish, then Kill Dill. Parry, we got it. We got it loud and clear that you like to play those roles where you are one courageous girl with a carefree attitude. But how many times? And so it is all a thing of the past. All is not well on Paraniti's career front. It's not only us who think she has been repetitive with her roles, critics say the same thing too. But who can explain this to her? We did try, but Paraniti refused to acknowledge this. We caught up with her in Pune last week, and you have got to listen to her sheer denial. You movies, it's normal of the acting critics they say that it's the same about it so what do you have to say do you believe in the critic review actually you're completely wrong because uh, the 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 one thing that I really pride myself in is the critics reviews I've never gotten a bad review um, in fact they always have great things to say so I completely disagree with you now maybe Paraniti is a good actor because unlike her roles, she doesn't seem to be carefree when it comes to dealing with media questions. And the guard of so-called good actress slipped a bit. After all, our straightforward questions aren't easy to digest. Thank you, thank you. Lastly, uh, thank, you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Talking about her downfall in career graph, it all started in 2012 with Ishak Zadeh, not making a great mark at the box office. Then in 2013, her should Desi romance also couldn't make people fall in love with her. In 2014, Dawat A Ishq and Kill Dil also couldn't make any killer performance. Ups and downs, they, of course, uh, uh, personal life, mein, professional life, mein, har cheez mein. Uh, lekin I think that actor's life is always a consistent year, you never get a good year, you never get a good year, you never get a good year. Okay, Paraniti, you have made a few mistakes and you're a little upset with your career graph being not on the upswing, but that doesn't mean we are going to sugarcoat our questions. We aren't fond of calories just like you. We couldn't understand the reason for you to cut our interview short. Face it, you are not that busy this year. Why are you not this year on the screen? Actually, the thing is, uh, Kill Dil November mein release hui and December mein maine koi film shuru nahi ki. So, ab is saal agar main shoot shuru bhi karti hu, to wo is saal release nahi ho sakti. Wo technically wo next year hi hogi. So, actually, isa kuch plan nahi tha. Wo isa ho gaya. Last year three releases thi and is year koi nahi hone wali. But it's good. I'll be spending this year shooting. Which movies are you talking about? Actually, I wish I could tell you, but abhi mujhe green signal nahi mila hai. Jab bhi mujhe milega, to main announce kar dungi. What movie? Deny, deny, deny. That's what the current mode Paraniti is in. The fact is that she doesn't have too much work in her kitty in 2015, but is trying to keep herself occupied. Okay, friends are rallying around her, but will that help? 9XE The Show has it that her ex-boyfriend director Manish Sharma landed up at her place just a few days ago. History has it that he too has contributed to her low phase. Paraniti had high hopes that she will be a part of Fan, the film he is doing with Shah Rukh Khan. Unfortunately, that did not happen. And all is not well, even with her cousin and Priyanka Chopra's brother Siddharth. The boy was supposed to get married on February 25th, but now that's not happening anytime soon. So then what was the celebration all about? Now that Paraniti wasn't too occupied, she found some time to be at the launch of her cousin Siddharth's lounge in Pune. And we asked a straightforward question to him. Uh, now that we see you getting settled in your professional life, your personal life is also not hidden. And it seems that you're going to tie knot very soon. So how is it? Actually, I'm not getting uh, married anytime soon because right now I just wanted to focus on my career. So at this point, uh, there's no plans for my wedding so far because we've just made another extension to our brand and I want to focus on my career for the next couple of years before thinking for a marriage. That's shocking news. 
In fact, in our last episode, we had told you about how Priyanka is planning a lavish destination wedding for her brother in Goa, who got engaged to Kanika Mather from Delhi in October 2013. But now with the latest update, nothing of that sort is happening. We wonder what could be the reason. But yes, Priyanka's younger brother will now focus on his career. I'm not getting uh, married anytime soon because right now I just wanted to focus on my career. Well, good luck to you on that, Siddharth. We are sure the Chopras have it in their blood to be career-oriented. It is time to now talk about the eldest Chopra girl, Priyanka, whom we might see opposite Salman pretty soon. Last heard, Ali Abbas Zafar, who will direct the wrestling avatar of Salman in Sultan, is trying to rope in Priyanka for the film. During the shoot of Gunde, Ali became quite fond of Priyanka's work and is now trying his best to get her on board by hook or crook. Is Salman okay with it? The two were not on the same page after Priyanka denied to work in his brother Sohail Khan's 2009 release. Salman and Priyanka were last seen together in God to See Great Ho in 2008. Although they had resolved their conflict later, but that was strictly restricted to off-screen. The two will definitely be a good pair without a doubt. After all, their chemistry in Mujse Shadi Karogi and Salame Ish was loved by everyone. Another question that arises in my mind is also, what kind of role does Ali have to offer Priyanka? Because certainly after playing a protagonist in her last film, Mary Calm, we are sure she wouldn't want to be just some eye candy in a Salman star. All said and done, we hope Sultan turns out to be the return of the Mujse Shadi Karogi Jodi, with the talented Priyanka having a meaty role in it. Coming up, Bollywood's temperature is rising high with the World Cup fever. Kriti Sanan leaves Akshay Kumar for Varun Dawan. 